let's uh, try to get an understanding of uh, spoilage probability. Note that, as we have seen in uh, previous uh, tutorials, that commonly microbial inactivation follows a logarithmic relationship. And that also means that the survivor curve never reaches zero population. The population can get very, very small, but it will not reach a zero value. So let's uh, take a semi-log plot and uh, on the y-axis we will plot the number of survivors uh, using a symbol n and on the x-axis we have the heating time in minutes. So let's uh, label the y-axis uh, starting with 10 raised to power 4 and then 10 raised to power 3, 10 raised to power 2 and so on and then up to 10 raised to power minus 2. Note that this is a log scale. And we also know from a previous tutorial that the d value is obtained from one log cycle reduction in the microbial population. So we can obtain d in this particular plot as two minutes as the line crosses one log cycle. So let's make a table of heating time and the microbial population n as we can determine from this plot. So at zero time we have a microbial population of 10 raised to power 4. After 1 times the d value which is 2 minutes, so at the end of 2 minutes the microbial population decreases to 10 raised to power 3. After 2 times the d value which will be 4 minutes the population decreases to 10 raised to power 2. After 3D, it will be 10, and so on. After 6D, the population will be 10 raised to power minus 2. So that raises a question, what does 10 raised to power minus 2 number of spores mean? What that means is that if we conducted an experiment, let's say with 1,000 samples, then after 6D time, heating time, the population will be 1000 times 10 raised to power minus 2 or 1000 divided by 100, that gives us 10. So 10 samples will have a surviving spore out of the 1000 samples. So negative power, as we saw here, for survivors is interpreted in terms of the probability of survival. So let's examine this a little further. Again we have the same plot. We have of course the d value. Now what we will look at is a decrease in population from 10 raised to power 4 to 10 raised to power 0. Well, 10 raised to power 0 as you know is 1. So we are looking at the decrease in microbial population from 10 raised to power 4 to 1 and the time of heating is t. So we have on this uh, plot two right angle triangles, one representing the reduction from n0 to n and the other one representing a microbial reduction for one log cycle. So we can write for these two similar right angle triangles log n0 minus log n divided by log of 10 raised to power 3 minus log of 10 raised to power 2 equals t over d. We have log n0 minus log n divided by now log of 10 raised to power 3 is 3 minus 2 equals t over d and so that denominator will be 1 on the left hand side so we have log n0 minus log n equals t over d. So we will use this expression to develop our expression for the spoilage probability. So let's say r represents the number of cans that are thermally processed and n0 is the number of spores per can. Then r times n0 will equal the total number of spores at the beginning of the thermal process. Then log Rn0 minus log Rn 
log of Rn0 representing the initial population minus log of R times N, the final population, and we will also replace time T with a symbol F, where F is the total time of heating. So we have F divided by D. Now, if we want only one can at the end of the heating time to contain a spore, then we can say that R times N must be equal to 1. So we can go ahead and substitute Rn is equal to 1 in this equation and we have log Rn0 minus log of 1 equals F over D. Now log of 1 is 0 so we are left with log of Rn0 equals F over D or Rn0 is equal to 10 raised to power F over D. Or we can rearrange the terms and we can say 1 over R equals N0 over 10 raised to power F over D. This is the equation that we want to use for spoilage probability. Let's look at an example. Let's say initially there are 10 raised to power 4 spores per can. If we are going to heat these cans to a total time that is 12 times the D value, so F, our total time of heating, equals 12 times D, then 1 over R equals N0 is 10 raised to power 4, and in the denominator we have 10 raised to power, and for F we write 12D and then divide it by D, so on the right hand side we are left with 10 raised to power minus 8. In other words, 1 over R equals 10 raised to power minus 8. That means the incidence of survival is going to be 1 can in 10 raised to power 8 cans processed. So what that means is that for this 12D process that we are using, when the initial spore population was 10 raised to power 4 per can, the incidence of survival is 1 can in 10 raised to power 8 cans processed. This is how we can use spoilage probability to determine the incidence of survival after certain thermal process.